Hello guys, in today's video I would like to show you some products from Paintforge company. This is a small Polish company that produces tufts for all your basing needs. I've recently purchased a huge selection of their tufts, uh, I've already put them on some of my models, so I will not only show you the, mod the tufts themselves in the clamshells uh, so you can see them up close, but also I will show you them on some of the models that I've painted. So, enjoy the video. As you can see, buying a lot of tufts, a lot of clamshells, guarantees a nice and sturdy box. And, well, the first impression is very good. Uh, the clamshells are, and blisters, whatever you call them, uh, are packed properly. I mean, there's not much uh, damage to be done unless you uh, cover them in water or burn them, basically. So they should be fine going around the whole worldwide world uh, and, you know, getting to you basically so the first ones are marsh and 12 millimeters and in six millimeters version uh, i bought them to bring some uh, differentiation and height to my bases and as uh, basically a filler to all the color uh, colored uh, tufts that uh, i have later on to show you uh, so these are like basic grass basic green grass uh, and you can as you can see there are very little ones uh, huge ones uh, you know sort of fat and uh, medium sized ones the, the medium sized ones uh, are covering the whole sheet so if you noticed the uh, six millimeter, millimeter ones are double sided and the 12 millimeters uh, millimeter ones are one sided so uh, that's because probably there's more material to be used in the bigger ones but you can see the difference it's huge i mean you can clearly see the difference between 12 and 6 millimeter uh, version of the grass i like it because it's like uh, two colored three colored uh, grass three different shades and uh, well let's just put them back into the clamshells and move on to to the next one So the next grass I'm going to show you is dead grass. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. It looks like a burnt out by sun version of the previous marsh. Marsh, sorry. Uh, and again, we've got little ones, fat ones, and medium ones. Uh, you know, the distribution is not always uh, regular and uh, sort of uh, uniform, but this is all done manually. And the gl the glue on the uh, on the tufts is quite strong. It's strong enough to keep them on the on the bases, but I always would suggest using super glue. Now we've got swamp. Uh, this I would suggest using with some water effects for uh, making those little little uh, places with grass in your swamps, basically. So uh, or or even like uh, puddles of water. The next one is dunes. Um, again, we've got little ones, fat ones, and uh, medium ones on the other side. And these would bring a very nice contrast to your uh, sandy, uh, sandy and uh, desert kind of bases. The next one is brushwood, and I really, really love this one. It's a 12 millimeter tuft, uh, but as, as you can see, there's a huge difference between the bottom and the very core of the tuft and the very edges. And uh, again, uh, single-sided. Dried blood flower uh, is the next one. Uh, this is the first of the flowers uh, sort of section uh, type of tufts. Uh, as you can see, there's just a regular six millimeter tuft uh, uh, at the bottom and some um, additional sponge sort of thing, uh, flower pe petals, petals, petal, flower petals. Uh, uh, on there, on top of it. Uh, it looks quite nice and I've used these on, on some of my models that I'm going to show you later on. Uh, the next one is summer flowers and this is really, really nice for your older, you know, summer bases. I think it would fit very well with the uh, very current Nurgle army because it's very colorful, very green, <clears throat> but I, I think that you should use some contrast on your bases. Um, Red flowers, just basic red flowers. These are quite nice. I've used these in particular on my Tyranids. Uh, that's why I bought another sheet of those uh, because I've got plenty of Tyranids to paint. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> there's only one size. Uh, there's not, there's no differentiation size in these ones, but uh, you know, you can bunch them up. Uh, ruby red flowers. Uh, these I like because they are very, uh, the petals are very thick. You know, there's plenty of them. Uh, like in red flowers, you've got only few of them uh, on each uh, tuft. On these ones, there's plenty, huge amount of, of, of flower petals on each tuft. And light green flowers, again, something to differentiate the color on my bases. Uh, you know, you will have to pick your own colors. This is basically the same that uh, we've got in the red flowers, just different color. And yellow flowers, 
Uh, I bought these <clears throat> because they are different. Uh, this is uh, obviously a little bit thicker paint, I think, put on the tuft ends, uh, but it looks uh, really nice and it uh, sort of would uh, create like open space between a couple of uh, tufts with uh, flowers, basically. So I don't know if you know what I mean. And this one I picked because it's olive, I like army colors, and it looks a little bit like weed, to be honest. <laughs> and I sort of, uh, I thought, well, why not? So now let's move on to some of the models that I've uh, use the tufts on. Uh, on these models uh, I also used some GW tufts, but just one uh, tuft uh, uh, each, I believe. The green ones are GW, but you can see the difference. You can see that it sort of uh, fits well. You can mix and match different manufacturers of, of tufts to you know bring, your, bring the detail that you want, bring the result that you actually want to have on your basis. And these are the Tyranids that I've uh, started painting some time ago and I've got plenty, plenty, uh, plenty more models to paint. Uh, so that's why I needed <laughs> ruby red flowers and red flowers. So what you can see here is only a small selection of their whole range. They've got plenty of 6mm uh, grass tufts, uh, flowers, 12mm uh, grass tufts, and uh, recently I think they've introduced even a 2mm grass tufts, uh, probably for games like Epic and, you know, like small scale, 15mm, I don't know, uh, Drop Zone Commander, I think, is 15mm, uh, that's quite popular in US and UK, so, uh, and maybe, I don't know, a Dystopian Wars or something like that, or just basically very short grass that you want to put, maybe on your bubble models, to, to sort of uh, simulate very, you know, worn out or uh, properly mown, uh, you know, lawn or pitch, whatever you call it. Uh, so, uh, I would suggest going on the website, checking out their offer, what they've got on offer. The link is in the description. They only have a uh, Facebook page, but on the first post, uh, I think it's a pinned post that you can uh, find a a folder, a menu, a brochure with all the uh, uh, options that you can buy. And <clears throat> I would suggest, I don't know, uh, getting some friends together, picking some selections uh, and making one order because obviously international postage is going to be an issue for some of you guys outside of Poland. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know by liking or disliking the video and commenting. Uh, see you again. Take care.